All right, so for test one, we are doing a simple base test. Tesla's in full self-driving, goes through, and then we bring out the slow down sign. This is about where I would put it if my kids are playing outdoors. You'll see for test two, it does see it on the screen. It doesn't slow down though. I decided to bring the slow down sign a little closer to the center of the road to see if it responds differently. You'll see on the screen, it does recognize the sign, but does go through without slowing down. In this case, we decided for test four to bring the dummy in front of it and see if maybe having a human out there could have it slow down. But you'll see that it doesn't slow down, keeps going. And for test five, you'll see a dummy on the right side, the safety sign on, slow down sign on the left, and it just goes through. All right, now let me make a quick observation. And you tell me in comments what you think. If I'm driving through a street like this and I'm seeing a kid on a skateboard and I'm seeing a slow down sign, I'm likely slowing down just to make sure that I can react. Do you think Tesla should make their software more sensitive to these situations? For test six, we have the slow down sign still there and we have the dummy run out. About 85 feet away, you'll see the dummy pulled out. Hardware 4 sees it, slows down and stops. Test seven, same thing. About 85 feet away, the dummy pulls out. Tesla's going about 25 miles an hour. It sees the dummy. Unfortunately, the dummy falls. We pick him back up. We get him going. We do another test, test number eight. About 75 to 80 feet away. Hardware four sees the dummy. The dummy pulls out. The vehicle stops. I wanted to see what the computer and what the screen was seeing. And so I just had the dummy on the right and I just drove through to see if the screen saw it and if the camera saw it. And you'll see there it does. Now I wanted to see how it compares to seeing a human, if there was a human there. So I asked my son to just take a step out. Obviously had my foot on the brake. And you'll see on the screen, it sees both my son and the dummy as both humans. So Tesla was seeing exactly what we wanted it to see. It was working and it was responding. For the next day, we had the dummy make a few crosses across the street each time hardware forth saw the dummy cross through it did slow down but in some situations like test 12 and especially test 13 you'll see it goes it goes next to the dummy pretty quick you'll see here the dummy pulls out crosses the street slows down a few miles gets going again but for test 14 we really wanted to push the limits we wanted to see how would Tesla respond? How would Hardware 4 respond if only had a split second to react? There's just not enough time. About a second before impact, 15 feet away, Hardware 4 sees the dummy but can't make the full stop. Now let me say this. FSD is level two, meaning it still needs human oversight. The current computer Tesla is using inside these vehicles is hardware four, which can respond at 0.3 seconds, faster than the human brain at 0.4 to 0.6, if the driver is fully attentive. Edge cases like this challenge self-driving tech. Updates that Tesla has released in the past like version 12.5 has cut interventions by 30%, and FSD's crash rate is just 0.26 per million miles, better than the average. 